weekend. First of all, congratulations on a fantastic weekend. What a great achievement. It's been fantastic to be part of that Six Nations. Yeah, you know, it's been um, unbelievable. A couple of months, you know, it's uh, got to Poland the first week, put some hard work in there, and then you know, it was just great to be to be involved in the whole tournament. And it's uh, you know, it's, it is best competition in international rugby, and uh, you know, big days like in Cardiff, you know, 80,000 people in the stadium, and then you got a quarter of a million outside cheering you on. It's great. What was it like the morning of the Grand Slam? Did you, did you were you thinking about it? How did you react, react as, as players in, in the camp? Um, oh, I wasn't too too bad. I managed to get to bed half past nine, but then I was up for about half past six. So I had an early to bed early up. So it was a bit of a long day in the morning, but it was nice to play. I think we were quarter to three, so it wasn't too bad. But I think it would have been a killer if it would have been the, the last game of the weekend, or perhaps even a bit later. But uh, no, it wasn't too bad. We just got a, a usual sort of preparations that we all do. And just go through them, and it, was, uh, uh, it wasn't too bad. Just an amazing atmosphere in that stadium as well, and the whole of Wales sort of as a nation getting behind the team and, and the celebrations afterwards. It's really sort of beyond rugby almost. Yeah, you know, I think uh, I've said a couple of times, you know, it's, it's tough economic climate we're in at the moment. You know, I think it's nice for people to have something to cheer about, something to smile about, and uh, you know, it was. Uh, it's fabulous to see going back to back home and everybody just smiles on their faces and being happy and I think that's, uh, that's what about mix. I was very surprised at how much rugby affects people's lives and uh, that was outstanding. And in terms of the local communities as well, you're from Kamal and Chile, you know, presumably have lots of messages of support throughout the Six Nations and then towards the Grand Slam, very much, you know, in terms of home support as well. Yeah, you know, it was nice. Some, some people perhaps I've never really spoken to coming up to me and shaking, me ha shaking my hand when I was just walking through uh, Kamal then and, and all that, you know, and it, it was just great, but, you know, I driving through the village one day and the local rugby club had put a sign up with Paul Block Ken on it, which was, uh, which was quite nice and uh, nice. Uh, Ah, that's brilliant. And quite a big Scarlet's contribution, really, to the national success. A lot of the boys there. Does it make a difference? You got a lot of your teammate, your regional teammates there as part of the squad. Yeah, you know it is great. It makes it a lot easier. But um, I think coming off the back of the World Cup, the majority of the boys were involved, and you know we spent a lot of time together the last year, so also quite close as a national squad as well. But you know to see so many Scarlet boys coming to prom prominence during the tournament was uh, was great. But obviously um, a lot of the younger boys uh, getting an opportunity just to. Obviously they didn't play, but uh, to, to get the experience of being involved with the national squad and, uh, and uh, improving their experiences and uh, their development as players. And a word about the boys back home, because obviously while you've been carrying on this fantastic international sort of uh, spell, there's obviously been the boys back home who've kept us in the running in, in so many competitions and have contributed so much this season. Yeah, definitely. You know, watch, well, I've watched every game uh, during, the, during the Six Nations and, you know, it was just the rest, uh, the Northampton game that we lost, and you know they've been in some tough places. You know Treviso at home, it was a tough game. Beat London Irish in the LV Cup at home, and, uh, and a tough corner team as well. You know, and uh, for them to get uh, get them sort of results, but also go to Dublin and get a losing bonus point. You know, it's, uh, it's a fantastic achievement, and they've uh, kept us in the running. And uh, you know, it's, there's some big competition for places at the at the Scars at the moment. It's obviously been very intense during the Six Nations, but it's very intense coming back home now. You're back with the regions this week. Big derby against the Blues on Saturday. Another couple of big league games, and also an Amlin uh, quarter final as well. So, so there's a lot play, to play for in the region. Yeah, well. definitely. I think it's uh, it's a good way to have it as well. You know, to um, to focus the mind to come up to Cardiff on Saturday to to a big local derby. I think it does give you that little bit. Um, you know, you're you're obviously concentrating all the time, but uh, you know, you've got to be on on the money and uh, in a local derby like this. So in a way, it does help. You know that. Uh, there is a bit a local derby like this, but you know it's obviously competition for places. You know I want to cement my spot in the Scarlets, and you know, because Emma's been playing really well while while me and Matthew have been away as well, and we got Matthew there. So you know I really want to push to be starting well, hopefully Saturday, Edinburgh the week after, and the Amman quarter final. So with a bit of luck. And just like, lastly on the Rabo Direct, obviously we're in the top six. Um, it looks like it could go right down to the the final game of the season, really, against the Blues at home. Massive occasion for us again at back at Pakistan. Yeah, you know, obviously very frustrating last year. I think we finished six and only a point or two off the playoff. So I think we're in sort of the same position again. But I think we've got a, a more well different opportunity. We've got more points. We've got more results this year. So you know, five five to finish it off is um, it's going to be tough. But um, you know, that's what this this end of the season is about. Just winning, and I think we're going to have to win all five to put ourselves in the, in contention. Well, looking forward to having you all back within the region, Ken, and, and on behalf of all our supporters, fantastic achievement, well done to all the boys. Thank you.